26 right. Thank you. The driver holding short to straight to the call center request. 250 Papa Delta, left downwind departure Lake Matthews. 250 Papa Delta, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff, lighting 260. Traffic on a three mile final is assessment. Clear for takeoff 26 right, uh, zero Papa Delta. Okay, let's go. All right, keep it in the city. You, you can uh, pull up behind the. Uh, let's start this, uh, the pre road. The assessment uh, off line. All right, we'll pull up behind the 1000 off the mic for one to Julia. Add some power. Call it 844, continue westbound, contact the South Tower 120.12, 2012. Uh, continue southbound, contact 120.12, 1784. More power. Hold that brake height. Okay. All right, the four steps, thumb off the front, stick back, release the brakes. Sir. Add some power. Now you're on the pedals to keep us straight. Just yeah. zero, zero, stop, sit down, and I'll call your base for multiple parts. Just wait for the nose. There's the nose. Nose. Nope. Not left stick. Left pedal. So jumping off, Mike. We're gonna wait okay. for one more arrival, and then I'll get now you going. It'll power. go some extra space and with you in the gyro. Ten four. There you go. So now it feels tempting to pull the right stick to go right, Yeah. but not, not on the ground, it's right pedal. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to climb out at about 60 so you can pull back on the stick a little bit. And you can also add the trim, make it easier for yourself. Okay. Ooh, we're climbing like a monster. Yeah. You can keep the power up if you want, and that'll just keep our speed a little higher. Okay. That's fine. And then just nose down. Nose down just a bit. If you start descending, you might need to add some power, but let's just kind of see where we go from here. Okay. It's a little bit of a combination between the. the uh, this is going to be a full stop for us. Hang on. Between okay, power. Left, left Papa, country ground for six, cross cross, the lead trap. Left half power and stick. Okay. Left up Papa, and we got a plane in front of us right there for us. Hang on. Well, let's go back up to 2000, so maybe add a little more power. Remember, the, in, the instruments have about a five second delay. Okay. So when you do something, it'll take about five seconds for you to figure out what you're doing. I see. That's a nice day, though. Yeah, it really is. Jarrah, zero pump delta, traps one o'clock, two miles parallel, you also for the lake. It's a Cessna 2600, free winch boost, talk to you a bit. Talk to you a bit, zero pump delta. So we're looking for a Cessna 26. Yeah, so we'll just stay where we're at, you know. So again, as we're just flying around doing nothing, we might as well uh, look for emergency landing places. Okay. So right here, if you lost your engine, where, where would be a good place to land? Um, thinking. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. It's all pretty hilly. Yeah. Maybe over there. Eh, I'm not sure you'd make it that far. No. Believe it or not, see the schoolyard on our left there uh, with uh, the basketball courts directly like 90 degrees left. Okay. Well, there are a bunch of kids down there, so that might be, not be good. Yeah. All right. Um, there's a. Looks like there's a golf course in front of us. Maybe the golf course might be good. This little hill to the right of us next to the freeway. Yeah. But that looks like a hill. So up here it looks flat, but when you get down there, it could be like this big old steep curve. Okay. So that might not be cool. Oh. Believe it or not, the freeway is not a bad choice because you know it's going to be a nice straight road. Yeah. You would land with the traffic, not against it. Okay. Because we're going to come in and land about 60, 70 miles an hour, the same as a car. Right. You would hope that a car would stop. You know, not ram us from behind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right. that's the free will be it. Very good. Now, we can make it to the golf course, which is right in front of us here. Yeah. Yeah, golf courses are nice because they're nice, long, flat, you know, fields. You're just going to irritate the golfers, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> so, down the left, the schoolyard, right down there, right up on down below. That's a nice flat yeah. grass spot. Okay. You have to dodge a couple trees. And you could. Essentially, like, just glide down, sink it in, and don't have to drop it in there, yeah. Go oh, okay. But golf courses are my favorite because they have nice cut greens and all that, you know. Yeah. It's probably the safest there. What, what's the glide? Like, how far do we get? Well, three to one. Three to one. So it's not much. It's kind of like draw a 45 degree angle down, uh -huh. and that's as far as you're going to go. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you see something way out in the distance, like, oh, I'll just go over there. Yeah. But no, you won't make it. it. No. Sure. What about uh, parking lots like that Walmart? Parking lots are okay as long as there's not a ton of cars. And then you got to watch out for light poles as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the Walmart one, 
off on the right side there where it's kind of void apart. Yeah. I would sink down right over that little carport area on the, on the right there and try to drop it to the market. Yeah. Ooh, now to the right of us, there's a nice soccer field down there. That'd be a good one. Okay. That'd be a nice place to land. Yeah, there's tons of landing areas here. All those roads, yeah, that stuff yeah, would be good right there. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't hit for the mud or anything, but, you know, yeah. go down. Believe it or not, what the roads might be because it's nicely packed dirt, you know? Right. The green grass, eh, it's possible, but it could be a bunch of crap in there, you know? Right. I guess you're also trying to save the ship. Well, you know, I mean, it's be a, that's secondary, but that's what we grab the tree. We'll get to the trees and we'll fly down the, down the wall of the dam over here on the left. Okay. And good job, it's in 2000, that's working out. How about an engine out here? Where'd be a good place to land? Oh, yeah, perfect. maybe, believe it or not, right here on the dam, yeah. that's about an eight foot wide landing strip that's really yeah. long. Oh, really? You can land right on the top of the wall down there. Yeah, 4,400. Yeah. But anyway, the, the game I play about the landing area thing, I do that all the time. Uh -huh. I'm just always trying to think, because that way if something ever does happen, you're walking and, oh yeah, I was going to land right down there, you know? Well, right. you'll have it in mind. Yeah. I don't want to be paranoid or anything, but it's just good to have a plan ready yeah. in case something happens. The other thing you should try to think about is trying to land into the wind if you can. Okay. And uh, when we left, the wind was kind of coming from the west, which is behind us. So you would think about, okay, if I had to swim around, land into the wind, is there a, is there a place to land that would be facing into the wind? I see. Uh, landing downwind is going to be, it's a little hairball. 